Oh, you remember that old film, Steve Martin in Leap of Faith? There is a church in Harlem that's moving beyond the traditional faith practices or what you might see depicted in Hollywood and opening a medical center for mental health through the just opened Hope Center, which stands for Healing on Purpose and Evolving. A pastor has turned to licensed clinicians to treat everything from depression to domestic violence. Founder of the Hope Center is Reverend Michael Waldron. What a joy to have you with me, Pastor Mike. How are you? All is well. Good to be here with you, Michaela. I'm really pleased to be able to shine a light on this, especially when given the fact that we know that within the black community, uh, there are mental health issues, and oftentimes Absolutely. folks are reluctant to speak up, to say, I need help, and to seek out help. Absolutely. You know, the statistics say that African Americans are 20% 20, 20 more likely uh, to experience a bounce with mental illness than the general population. And the tragedy is that many of our faith-based institutions, churches, don't always deal with the issue. And it's amazing. You know, I, I've dealt with it in my own life. And I've also seen studies that show almost 70% of pastors in some way, and yet 66% of pastors don't even talk about it from the pulpit. And so I've consistently talked about it, and more than that, we've tried to address it in really, I think, systemic and systematic ways. Well, beyond not talking about it, if they do, they say, well, let's just pray on it. Yeah. Prayer works and prayer matters. Yeah. But you need to have tools to deal with mental health, and that's where what you're doing is really quite groundbreaking. Absolutely. I, I think that there are people who believe somehow that if you are a person of faith, then you can pray some things away. And I can tell you, having dealt with depression myself, it is some, not something that you can just pray away. It does not undermine the power of prayer, but it is good to have mental health practitioners that are accessible to deal with certain levels of mental illness that exist in our communities. The stigma is so great that people are reluctant to even talk about it in our community. And so mm -hmm. the Hope Center is an attempt to not only demystify mental illness, but destigmatize uh, mental illness in our communities. Pastor Mike, you've just said it. it this is very personal to you. You've Absolutely. had a long history uh, and a storied history of dealing and battling with your own Absolutely. health issues and then mental health issues, battling a severe uh, issue of depression. But this shows me the importance of leading and living by example. You're, you're walking the walk, fella. Absolutely. I mean, I, I was diagnosed 36 years ago with sarcoidosis, and they told my parents at 10 that I probably wouldn't live to be 13. And it has really been a company with chronic pain. This is 36 years of chronic pain in some way, shape, or form. And there's no way you can engage that kind of pain and deal with that kind of suffering and it not have a kind of impact on your emotional and mental well-being. And it has. And so for me, it wasn't undermining who I am as a pastor, but it was knowing that there were limits to what I could do. And so I sought out help and it has made all the difference in the world for me. And so I encourage others, you know. I feel compelled to have all the answers for people who are suffering, but I do want to know the people and be in contact with the people who can help people get to a place of healing and wholeness, and that's why we created the Hope Center. Well, you had your ribbon cutting a short time ago, and I understand the response has been overwhelming and astounding. Pastor Mike, keep up the great and important Thank work so and much. blessings to all of you for the holidays. Thanks Same for joining us.